the Bohemian area around like, for the artists. Yeah. Hiya, John. How Hi. are you? How are you? Good. I'm talking to Louis. He's telling me about the neighborhood here. Good, hey, you're from the Lonesome Cowboy movie. He's from the Midnight Cowboy movie. Huh? What a natural. Yeah. You got a story working here, you two. <laughs> How about giving me a tour of the theater you've got going here? I will. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks, Louis. Good to see you. Back to work. Yeah, I'll see you later. All right. Okay. Sure. What a He's a wonderful fellow. Yeah. Oh, this is much better. Come on in. <laughs> We can have a seat down here Thanks. if you like. Sure. Tell me a little bit about this production and the folks who are involved in it. Dan. Well, uh, it's a play by uh, Julian Barry, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's a play that I, uh, I had read and I kind of fell in love with. You're actually involved in the building of the sets, I understand. Your hammer and nails, sawing, or what have you. Actually, when I start, when I was in grammar school and high school, I used to design sets because I was a, I was an artist. I was the artistic one in the family, and I was a painter, and I d build sets and design them. And at one point along the line, several times in my young life, I was asked to get, in, you know, say, well, would you do, since you're here, would you do this part? And then I'd step in front of the set. Mm -hmm. And eventually I just got comfortable there. So this is a, a bit of a return for me. Mm -hmm. Although, I must say, I wouldn't have been able to do it without uh, James Eric, who designed not only this theater, but the, <laughs> the theater for the Cassavetes pieces and the, and the stage for that and the Matrix theaters. As I understand it, you folks are all doing this without pay. Is this a labor of love? Everyone who's here is working without pay. The, the producers and the, the people who worked on the set put the lights together. Uh, all of us. It's a very complicated, complex play. It has a lot of video in it. Lots of technical stuff to answer. And so it's a difficult play. It's very ambitious. What problems have you encountered as a director? As a director, I think that the one thing that I've learned uh, most is uh, the, the idea of patience and thoroughness. Uh, is so important for a director and and Don't it's ever do that again. and I realize so I realize realize how knowing how fragile the actors are because I've been one myself I I know that I have to speak to them in you know in very uh, clear terms and in as few words as possible usually that's usually the best way and I find myself being an actor wanting to get up and act a bit and fool with it in my own way and I have to be very careful not to take take away the uh, you know the energy of the actor and his imagination not bad very charming john did you have a mentor in your career a director who might be considered a mentor i think i've had quite quite a few mentors at different times i remember there was a my first director uh was my mother pulling the curtain for a show when i was in fifth grade <laughs> And she was a pretty good director, actually. She stayed out of my way, gave me encouragement, and did a lot of the, you know, just was there. Mm -hmm. and there was a fellow in, in high school that was a terrific director, and, and then all my professional directors have been wonderful. How does John Voigt, the actor, differ from John Voigt, the director? John Voigt, the actor, is much taller. Oh, John Voigt, the director, is a short fellow, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> cowers in the corner. Yeah. Screams a lot. I, th I think as an actor, I... I, when I'm good, I'm staying in character most of the time. I'm relaxing. I'm checking myself out emotionally a lot, and I'm staying a, in a kind of a, a, a very high sensibility state. You know, watching for the things that only relate to my character. I'm feeding off that. As a, as a director, I find that I have to protect. I I am the, the like a warrior protecting that space for my actors. If I'm good at it, I stay away from them and within that space, and I encourage them to get to that space. Goodbyes. Okay. Uh, okay. So we, we go ahead. Come on. Okay. We don't have to answer. What do we have to answer? Okay. You better get in the bathroom. It's a position of trying to give that, trying to give something to the actors that that so that they can move beyond my control. Mm -hmm. You know, to set up a structure so they can fly a bit.